Hello, this is David Benign from XR Consulting, and in this video I'm going to show you how to automatically highlight cells that are blanks, or have errors, or have formulas, or seem to be outliers in your data. Um, Alright, so, let's get started. We're going to use for all of this video, this feature called Conditional Formatting. If you're not already using it, you are missing out massively. The stuff that we're doing in this video is more advanced, but to get it to highlight text or color scales is really, really simple and really, really useful. All right, so let's um, identify all the blanks. So select your data, go to Conditional Formatting, choose New Rule, and then go to the second option, Format Only Cells That Contain. Then you can go to Instead of cell value, you can say you want blanks. Choose a color and format. Normally go for the fill option and choose, let's go yellow this time. There you go. And now every blank is in yellow. If this becomes a blank, that's yellow as well. And if this gets filled in, that's not a blank anymore, so it's not yellow anymore. Uh, conditional formatting is dynamic based on changes. All right, next one. Let's select a whole worksheet. And let's highlight errors. Same place as before. You might have seen it. Conditional formatting new rule. Format only cells that contain. And here you choose errors. You can also choose no blanks or no errors. Um, can't say I've ever used those, but could. Let's make them all really, really bright and red. Press OK. Press OK again. Now every error is like that. Again, um, it's dynamic. So if this changes to not be an error, say equals this one, for example, then it's not an error anymore and it goes away. So does this one, which is linked to that error. A sum of an error is still an error, remember. Um, all right, let's go to the, the next one, which is outliers. So let's say that you have these data sets and you want to spot outliers here. So you can select them. Uh, the quick way to do it, which is also pretty useful, is go to Conditional Formatting Color Scales and choose that. This will give a color scale inside your data and generally if anything is really green or really red, then it will show you an error. So if this was actually 22, and this was 15, then it shows them very, very broad. But if there's two that are really a lot higher than the rest, it shows it to you like that. I use color scales all the time. I think they're incredibly useful. Um, let's get rid of color scales, and I'll show you a more scientific way to do it. If you go to conditional formatting and new rule, you can choose format only cells that are above or below average. This is so hidden because you assume it'll just be above or below average, but no, there's these things here. So if I go two standard deviations above, this is one of the ways to test for outliers. Two STD above, you can also go one STD above or below, or three standard deviations above or below. Uh, there's no way to do other outlier tests like uh, interquartile range times 1.5, but um, you can do those manually with formulas in the way that I'll show you next. So let's say we want them gray, press OK, OK again, and then these two are very clearly outliers, two standard deviations above the mean, so they go into gray. All right, let's do the next one, and this is just uh, a trick to use conditional formatting where there's no preset thing. So we're going to have to click on cell A1 and then select all. That does actually make a difference here. Uh, if you click here and select all, it will give you a wrong result uh, because it will assume this is the active cell. But in this case, we want A1 to be the active cell. So you can go to conditional formatting choose new rule, and the, the last option on the top is use a formula. 
Where we don't have anything pre-built, we can use a formula for conditional formatting. And here I can write equals is formula. A new formula introduced in Excel 2013. And then I can click here on A1, but I want to get rid of the dollar signs so that every cell is referring to itself, whether itself has a formula in it or not. Format. Let's go with this kind of orange one. Okay. Okay, again. And then every cell which has a formula is now showing me in that color. So this is equal to that cell. This is a, an aggregate. These are sums. So whatever that formula is, it will show it to me there. And if I have a new formula anywhere in the worksheet, that will also go that color. So that can be a really, really good way of using it. Um, if you want other formulas in your conditional formatting, you can do it in the same way. For example, more detailed outliers tests and other things can be done that way as well. Great. Thanks for watching.